want to become a full stack developer don't know how to become a full stack developer you don't know the tools and technologies required for a full stack developer looking for a guidance then this video is tailor made for you hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video i am going to explain you the skills required for a full stack developer please watch the video till the end so that you will not miss any important points without wasting time let's jump into topic full stack developer before going to full stack developer skills details i want to spend some time in explaining the differences between a normal developer and a full stack developer any software application is composed of three layers front end back end and database front end is the user interface of the application back end contains the business logic of the application database holds the data of the application nowadays most of the developers are experts of either front end or back end or database of course there are few people who can handle multiple layers we can consider these developers as corresponding layer experts like front end developer back end developer and database expert you can treat these kind of people like this means a person with a single skill a person with a single weapon next what is a full stack developer a developer who can develop all the areas or layers of an application can be called as a full stack developer nowadays there is a huge demand for full stack developers you can treat a full stack developer like this a man with multiple weapons a man with multiple skills so a full stack developer is treated as a man with multiple skills as i have explained before nowadays in this it market there is a huge demand for full stack developers i hope by now you got clear understanding of how a full stack developer is different from other developers now let's jump into the skills required for a full stack developer front end technologies front end refers to user interface of the application in order to develop any web user interface developers should know html javascript and css here html stands for hypertext markup language so this is a language of browsers any web page that gets rendered in a browser should be developed using html javascript javascript is a scripting language used to perform any client side logic inside the browser such as data validation and service communications css css stands for cascading style sheets cascading style sheets are used to apply styles to user interface elements next you need to know either react or angular of course there are some other libraries or frameworks available in the market i have taken the top two popular ones between these two react is a library angular is a framework in short framework offers more features than a library react is lightweight and easy to learn unless there is a proper reason to go with angular you can first learn react other options include vue.js and aurelia.js summary of the slide we need to learn html javascript css and either react or angular next backend technologies backend technologies are used to develop backend layer of the application backend might include services or apis following are the three popular backend technologies python java and c sharp i have listed them according to their popularity in the current market python it's the latest and most popular programming language the demand for python experts is very huge in the current it field if you are starting to learn from scratch learn python java and c sharp are also very famous programming languages in order to develop backend you need to have good understanding of object oriented programming concepts in addition you need to know how to create a service or a rest api with some crud operations other options for backend include ruby and php summary of the slide you need to learn one of the following languages python java or c sharp next databases application stores data in databases mainly there are two types of databases relational databases and no sql databases in relational databases data will be stored in the form of tables data between the tables is related using foreign key references sql server oracle and mysql 
or the popular databases. You need to learn at least one of these three databases. In case of NoSQL databases, data will be stored in the form of documents. There will not be any relation between documents. MongoDB is a very popular NoSQL database. Other options include Elasticsearch and Cassandra. Slide summary. Learn one of the three relational databases, SQL Server or Oracle or MySQL. Also learn MongoDB. Next, nice to have technologies. Whatever technologies we have discussed till now are good enough to become a full stack developer. Learning the following technologies will be an added advantage for you. Jenkins and Azure DevOps. So these technologies are used to create CI/CD pipelines. These CI/CD pipelines makes the process of code integration and application delivery easy. Next comes Kafka and RabbitMQ. So these technologies are used to integrate different applications or components. These are the most widely used technologies in distributed application environments. With this, I conclude my video. If you find that this video is useful, please share with your friends so that they will also get some benefit out of it. If you are a first time visitor, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like the video, share the knowledge and share the video. Take care. Thanks.